For years now, I've been keeping a lot of my focus on what's next after Bitcoin. I look at how incredibly Bitcoin did, and I'm especially fond of thinking of times Bitcoin had such huge growth. At large, Bitcoin grew a million times in a four-year period. That means a dollar would have grown to become a million dollars. Or Litecoin's 500 times growth in less than one year in 2013. That's $1,000 becoming half a million dollars. I think to myself as we go on in time, we'll have more opportunities like this, not less. Keep in mind, opportunities like this virtually never existed a couple hundred years ago, or say a thousand years ago. Uh, it's an incredible time we live in. I want to say too, I'm not in favor of any pump and dump junk coins. I use Litecoin as an example above, because at the time there were only a handful of cryptocurrencies, and it was the runner-up behind Bitcoin. In regard to Ethereum, what I've been waiting for is a graphical user interface, a GUI. So for those who aren't programmers, they can comfortably use it. Uh, the GUI has now been released, for those of you who are not aware. Uh, it's powerful. You can play around putting contracts into it and see how that works. This is one of the biggest things I was waiting for, to see how Ethereum actually works. And it works very well. Um, currently, the main wallet application there is the Mist Browser, and it's a pleasure to use. I'll put a link to it below. Something important to note is that Ethereum is the most advanced cryptocurrency. This is Bitcoin 2.0. It's only a matter of time until we have copycat programmable currencies like there were copycats of Bitcoin. Uh, up till now, the most advanced cryptocurrency was NXT. Uh, what sets Ethereum apart from NXT is that Ethereum is Turing complete. So what that means is it's programmable. For instance, you can input something to happen at a future date and just as reliably as any other software, it'll be able to respond to that. Same with reading price feeds or anything else. Uh, one way to look at it is if that Bitcoin, if Bitcoin was regarded as decentralized money, Ethereum is decentralized programmable money. To add to that, now that Ethereum is out and we're seeing programmable cryptocurrency, you would think that all cryptocurrencies should have been programmable. Uh, but alas, it begins. You know, Bitcoin was the first version and now we're moving on. Uh, but this is a natural step of cryptocurrency evolution. And just like Bitcoin had thousands of clones, I imagine someday in the next few years, there are probably going to be a lot of coins of programmable currencies. And consider this too. In the next boom, when there's a lot of new users and interest uh, being built in cryptocurrency, like when we go into the next bubble, a lot of programmers are going to look at this. And of course, Ethereum is more attractive than any alternative. Uh, it's an obvious choice. They can program in their language of choice, essentially, for the most part. Um, yeah, it's an obvious choice versus the other protocols built on top of Bitcoin, like Counterparty, uh, or so on. A couple other important points here. Uh, Ethereum is the fastest growing cryptocurrency after Bitcoin, uh, and by a substantial amount. A good metric to me is the user growth on Reddit. Uh, there's a website called Reddit Metrics, which is very helpful for this. It tracks the number of users on certain subreddits over time. It's a great tool for measuring community growth. Um, also, another important point here to consider is that Ethereum has shown resilience to Bitcoin's price. Uh, just in the past week or so, um, Bitcoin's been ha struggling with the block size, the block limit debate and whatnot, and it's affected the price. It's crashed the price a little bit on Bitcoin. And while most other cryptocurrencies are you know, bobbing up and down along with Bitcoin, Ethereum has actually been doing well. It shows that its market is growing independent of Bitcoin. Uh, perhaps one that could perform well and grow whether or not Bitcoin is doing well. And that's really cool to see because a lot of these other cryptocurrencies have stagnated uh, in this lull period in the past two years where Bitcoin's been growing but hasn't gone into a major bubble. And just one more thing to add. In the short term, the market depth is greatly favoring a rise in price of Ethereum. Uh, this is Poloniex, which is one of the major exchanges for Ethereum. There's a sizable amount of volume that goes on here for Ethereum. I'd say it's about half its trade volume. And as you can see, there's a lot more buying pressure than there is uh, selling pressure, at least what's visible on the market. But I've kind of seen this graph change over time. You know, and even a couple weeks or a month ago, uh, maybe two months ago, they were about equal or perhaps even more selling pressure than buying pressure. And you could just see the shift happening here and the price the price has been increasing too so the price also was reflecting that and as always this is not trading advice just my observations
So thanks for checking out my video. Uh, if you like the video, of course, as always, give it a thumbs up, or if you're not already, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.